morning. It's Friday, February 7th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Using Power Wisely. And our scripture is James, chapter 3. If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you're bitterly jealous and there's a selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. But wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It's full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. No, that guy isn't John Wayne or Roy Rogers or some superhero. That's Russell, a few years ago on vacation in Brevard, riding a horse for the first and only time in my life. It's easy to tell the difference between the superheroes and Russell. I'm the one shaking in a saddle. (laughs) And it's all because of Big John, my ride for that afternoon. They had a sign that said, if you're over 210 pounds, and I was, and I'm not going to tell you how far over, you couldn't ride unless Big John was available. Normal human beings who can't leap 28 feet in the air need a stepladder to mount the stable behemoth. I'm smiling in the picture, but it's a frozen in time, is this how I'm going to die kind of smile. Well, the afternoon turned out to be a favorite memory of mine. Big John was well-named for his size, but better named for his disposition. This was a beast who was gentle and calm. There's no doubt about who was in charge. When Big John wanted to stop alongside the mountain trail to munch on some low-hanging branches, well, by golly, no matter how much Russell urged us on, we stopped and munched on low-hanging branches. Big John, that is, Russell, had peanut butter cups. Sometimes it worked the other way around. There are a few times I wanted to stop and take a picture of the lovely mountain scenery. Brevard has some wonderful, breathtaking views of rolling majestic sights, including lots of waterfalls. But John had seen them so often he would just keep plodding. Once I did what our guide had suggested when he was instructing this greenhorn. He said, if John didn't stop, just tighten up my knee pressure on his neck and yank a bit on the reins. And when I did that, John ignored me like a rhinoceros with a gnat on his back. We kept plodding, no pictures. In the end, I decided John was smarter than the one riding him. Big John had done that trail hundreds of times in his 25 years. He knew the right way to enjoy an afternoon. I learned a little something that day about truly vacationing as opposed to cramming leisure time with too much distraction. Life in the 21st century has enough of that. One of the takeaways from that few hours with Big John is an understanding of keeping a focus on how to use what power you're granted. John could have flattened me if he chose. He could have insisted on riding me or just depositing me in a ditch. However, he chose to use his power wisely, treating me to a wonderful afternoon ride, aesthetically pleasing and memorable. It was a gift. Now, it's almost painful to make this kind of leap, but such are the risks of contrast and comparison. I wish some of our political leaders would learn Big John's lesson. Access to power doesn't mean grabbing what you want at any cost. Rather, like my four-footed, beautiful friend taught me, it means offering the best you have to the people you serve. For you today, if you're watching too much news coverage of impeachment, trials, and disaster, take a big John ride and breathe. And then thank your Heavenly Father for the view. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.